In this video, we'll be continuing our practice of solving equations with variables on both sides. In this example, we have the quantity of 7 minus 6y equal to 3y times 4 minus 47. Now, we first need to look at getting rid of our parentheses and seeing if we can combine anything inside the parentheses. And since we have a coefficient with a variable and a constant, there's nothing to combine. So we're just going to get rid of the parentheses and rewrite 7 minus 6y. Now on the right hand side, I have 3y times 4 minus 47. Multiplication comes always first before subtraction. So it really is that we have to multiply 3y times 4 rather than 4 minus 47. So 3y times 4 is 12y. And then we're going to bring down our negative 47. The next problem that we are going to have to get all our y's on one side of the equation and then all of our constants on the other side. I tell my students, and you guys have heard in class, letters on the left, numbers on the right. So let's go ahead and add 6y, which is our inverse, add 6y to both sides. And let's see, we come out with 7 by itself. Our negative 6y and our positive 6y gives us 0. 12 plus, 12y plus 6y is 18y minus 47. Now let's take this negative 47 and add 47 to both sides. This would cancel this out to zero. And then I'm gonna add 47 to seven on the left-hand side. This will give us a solution or a result in 47 and seven. It's gonna give us 54. And 54 is going to equal 18y. So if I bring this problem over onto the other side, I could go ahead and just switch switcheroo and switch this so I can have my letters on the left and my numbers on the right. I don't need to, I'm just twisting it because if I say 3 plus 2 equals 5, it's the same thing as saying 5 is equal to 3 plus 2. I'm doing nothing with the numbers. I'm just changing its position. And I'm not combining any like terms. So that's how I'm able to get it into standard form. So let's look at 18y. I'm going to divide both sides by 18. So y is going to equal 54 divided by 18 is 3. So our final solution on this problem is going to be three. Let's try one more equation. For practice, I'm gonna get rid of everything. And then I'll rewrite our next equation, which would be seven. Let's go ahead and do this in black so I can show the changes in red. We have seven y plus four times x, excuse me, four times eight, equal to eight minus five y plus 132. Now we're gonna ask ourselves, what are we going to combine? Now we have seven y here, we have a positive four plus four times eight, so I am going to combine these two terms together. And then on this other side, I see a negative 5y, and I see an 8 and 132. Those two get combined together. So knowing that, I'm going to rewrite just to clean up and show that I've combined like terms. So I have 7y plus 4 times 8 is 32. And then I have a negative 5y. And then I have 8 times, or excuse me, 8 plus 132 is 140. 
So my next step is, I got this all cleaned up. Let's get this Y over, this negative 5Y, by adding 5Y to both sides. I'm going to add 5Y to both sides. And that will give me 12Y plus, plus 32 equals 140. Because our negative 5Y and our positive 5Y cancels each other out or results in zero. So next step, we are going to add a negative 32 because it doesn't belong on the left-hand side, but on the right-hand side. After this gives us zero, we have 12Y equal to 108. Let's go ahead and bring it back over here. So I'm gonna just rewrite this. If I run out of room and I have to make a second column, I'm going to 12y equals 108. We are going to divide by its coefficient because it, the 12 and the y is separated by a multiplication sign. So the opposite of multi multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide by 12. Next, we have 12 divided by 12 is 1y. And 108 divided by 12 is 9. So our final answer is 9. All right, guys, there are some more practice on the Math is Simple YouTube channel on our channel where you can have more practice solving equations with variables on both sides. Go check them out.